All right, guys, welcome back to the vlog. Thank you for watching. So, today's vlog, well, again, I forgot. I filmed the intro and something went right, but basically, it is Wednesday now. I filmed last Saturday, but in the video, you're going to see us. Uh, we done some stuff with the drain pipe to the pond. Um, we didn't really do a whole lot because my pawpaw was sick, so he couldn't come down and operate the backhoe and all that stuff. So, yeah, there wasn't really a whole lot to do. But anyway, done some stuff with the pond, cleaned up the inside of the shop a little bit. And at the end of the video, you're going to see me going over us uh, starting seeds in, in our basement, getting ready to plant this uh, this spring. So I'll be explaining that whole process, you know, what we're going to be planting, what you're going to see, and just, you know, stuff like that. So, yep, thank you for watching, and let's get into the video. <laughs> So I know we do this every video, but we're we're gonna get us a cold start because it's actually been kind of cool. So it's been hot uh, some of these Saturdays, but it's actually actually pretty cool today and last night. So we're gonna see how it actually cold starts. Oh yeah, no problem at all. I don't know if y'all can see. Oh, wrong way. I don't know if y'all can see, but the fish are out today, looking good. Also, the pond is very full today. Like, it's even more full than last time. It's it's actually running over the little spillway over here, so pretty nice. Matter of fact, I don't know, it's southern weather is um pretty crazy. So, woke up this morning, beautiful day. As you can see, absolutely gorgeous right now. Halfway over here, started pouring down rain, black clouds, like, I mean, pouring down rain, and it's beautiful again. So... It's been raining really hard, so that's why the, you know, the pond is really full. But yeah, it's looking good. The fish are looking good. So it's about this time of year, through the winter, you know, I have to feed them like shiners and stuff to keep them alive. But um, as you can see, the frogs have already laid their eggs in the pond. So whenever them eggs hatch out and become tadpoles, then bass will devour them. So um, yeah, as the summer gets closer, the pond will pretty much feed it, feed the bass itself uh, with the. Uh, with the tadpoles and stuff and also the window lizards come out they they love lizards so yep uh the, the bass pond is looking really good all right so here's the pond still doing good still nice and full there's a drain pipe over there so we're gonna work on that a little bit today because right now obviously it's just sticking you know straight up out of the water so we're gonna work on we're gonna like curve it over basically that way you know leaves and stuff can't very easily get down in it so uh, yeah, I think we're going to work on that and just, you know, cleaning up around there today and just, you know, it's t typical cleaning up, stuff like that. So, um, yep, let's get into it. Guess you probably need to slow her down. Hit the wrong area. I was aiming for right there. All right, so the past two uh, Saturday vlogs, we've been trying to get this fuel tank system to work, and uh, it hasn't because we, I don't know, we, we basically got some stuff wrong, but um, 
we're gonna try the filter out today putting a new filter in it and seeing if that was the problem that's why it wouldn't work so um, yeah we're gonna change the filter out now oh yeah I'd say it's probably gonna have to prime the system or something I don't know what to tell you. I don't know either. Here or something. Oh, dang, I mean, that's getting it. Yeah. I wonder if, I, I wonder if that's what was wrong with it the whole time. But I still don't necessarily get it. What blowing through it made it work. I don't necessarily understand that. Here's something. That's like air. I think it'll work now. I think so. All right, so starting to rain a little bit again. The clouds are kind of coming in. So we're gonna work on cleaning the inside of the shop a little bit. Also, Paul Paul's feeling a little bit better. Obviously, he's still sick, but he's feeling a little bit better. So he's over there grading a little bit. But um, yeah, we're gonna work on the inside of the shop a little bit now. When are you going to plant it? I guess a little later on what you think, Daddy. Probably about... Everybody's standing there to wait until about the first, second week of March. Yeah. Not far away, you know. No. What well, wind's going to blow? Right? Yeah, sure it has. What? <laughs> wind, yeah. So this is a good tape measure. Can't even see the numbers on it. Yeah, put that straight. And it don't go back in. So earlier this morning when I was at the fish pond, I was talking about whenever uh, the frog eggs hatch and tadpoles come out, that the bass will you know, <laughs> devour them. I'm actually already starting to see a few tadpoles. I, right now I see one swimming, two actually. I see two swimming around. Before long, by two more weeks, there'll be a bunch of tadpoles around this pond and, and bass will really enjoy that. But I don't know, it's pretty cool having, you know, some, not really pet fish, but like, you know, just having some bass over here in this, this little pond because you know it's only about two feet deep so you know you can pretty much always see them and, i don't know it's really cool and they're getting pretty they're getting bigger too um they're, they're they've grown a pretty good bit i've been feeding them them shiners so yeah it's pretty cool 
All right, so here is our seed starting setup. As you can tell, we got a very professional setup. <laughs> it works, but um, anyway. So here are the plants that have sprouted. These are cayenne peppers, jalapenos, banana peppers, uh, cayenne peppers. So all these, everything we got, all the seeds we're starting here are peppers. And the reason that is, is because like corn, for instance, whenever you plant corn, you put the seed directly into the ground. If you get a pepper seed and put a pepper seed directly in the ground, it ain't it ain't gonna work just because it's too small or I really don't know <laughs> the physics behind it and stuff. Basically, it just won't work. You actually have to have, you know, a plant to put into the ground. So you start the seeds off, you know, start them kind of small, start them in these trays right here. So these trays right here, they have water in the bottom and you know, that's what feeds it. As you can tell, these, these trays right here have the tops on them and these have not sprouted yet. But, um, Basically what these tops do is when they're still in the ground, it creates a lot of moisture, which creates humidity too. So that moisture creates the water up on top and the water falls back on, you know, just kind of brings the water back from, it brings the water from the bottom, puts it up top and falls back down and it creates a lot of humidity and the humidity really like, I don't know, kickstarts the seeds to go, I guess you would say. And these lights right here, these, they're not on right now. We like alternate them. They come on sometimes and not. Basically, these lights, the plants grow, they're, uh, the plants are trying to get up to the lights. So like uh, these right here in the ground, when these lights come on, these seeds are going to try to get up out of the ground and try to reach the light, which, you know, it's going to make them sprout and stuff. So, yeah, there's uh, there's pretty much our seed starting set up. Um, as you can tell, we got a lot of peppers. <laughs> we really like peppers. And, um, yeah, pretty excited to film the um, garden this season. That'd be pretty fun. It's, I don't know, garden is pretty fun. So, um, yep, once these do grow and become bigger, you know, bigger plants, actually, that's when we will put these into these, and that's when they become an actual, you know, bigger pepper plant, and you put these directly into the ground. Those are biodegradable, so they just dissolve in the uh, soil, and then, yeah, they grow. So, pretty neat little setup. Uh, pretty cool. So, yep, there it is. So, you might be wondering, why did you go and buy all these seeds, all this, you know, seed starting material, all this, all the trays, the lights and all that stuff when you could just went to the store and bought pepper plants. Well, that's exactly what we done last year. We went to the store, bought the pepper plants. And the reason we did not do that again this year is that's pretty expensive, really. When you go to buy a good bit of pepper plants, they're like, I think $2 per pepper plant. And you're like, oh, $2 per pepper plant. Well, when you're buying, you know, 15 pepper plants, something like that, you know, that, that gets pretty costly when you can go and buy a whole pack of seeds now this pack right here was a lot more full before we planted them you can buy this whole pack of seeds for two dollars and this will grow a bunch of bunch of pepper plants for two dollars same price pretty much and you can grow a ton more pepper plants so it's a lot cheaper and yeah you had i mean you do have to spend some on like the lights the trays um you know just the stuff stuff like that but in the end, it's going to pay off. So that's that's exactly why we didn't just go and buy, you know, pl pepper plants from the store. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video today. Really do appreciate it. Uh, yeah, hope you hope you enjoyed it. Not really. I don't know. I've, I've done better videos. I don't know. Uh, like I said, my pawpaw was sick. So we didn't really do a whole lot. So just um, not really eventful video. But, um, yep, hope you all did enjoy it. And, um... Yeah, make sure to go down there, hit the like button, and subscribe. While you're down there, go ahead and turn on the notifications so you do get notified when I upload another video. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all on the next one.